Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Unpro Pro here, and this tutorial is brought to you by OnProLive.com. Okay, so in this episode, I will be teaching you how to create a character. So first thing you want to do is open up your database. You want to go to the Actors tab. Now here's where you have a, a list of the pre-created characters, which you can you can erase them by right-clicking and then pressing Delete, or you can just simply uh, press DEL on the keyboard. You can also do multi-copy, which this function is brand new to me, so I don't really know too much about what that is yet. I think that must have been one of the things that they added in the update, which I'm, if I had to take a wild guess, I'm pretty sure it means you can copy three characters, or like, instead of just one. Anyways, so basically what I'm doing down here is I'm changing the maximum. This allows you to change the array size. So if I change it to 19, we can have a total of 19 different characters. That's pretty cool. So we're going to create at least 11, so that way we can have our own little blank space. You want to make a character, here's his name. Let's go with Alex. Nickname, uh, basically, as you can see here, you got Thunderface, you got Soul, Re uh, Soul Reaver, Soul Reaper, or Silver Reaper, not Soul Reaper. This isn't Bleach. And um, his nickname is gonna be Wanderer. He wanders. Here's a class. The class is what controls his skills, his stats, and what types of stuff that he can equip, including armor, weapons, uh, skill types, all that. I'll go over this uh, eventually in the future. But for right now, let's just go ahead and give him one of the pre-made classes. Uh, we're going to give him the Monk class, which allows him to equip, uh, like, mace-style things. And claws, apparently. Okay, so the initial level is where you, you the starting level. So if you put 5, he's going to start on level 5 whenever you add him to the party. The maximum is the level cap. You can't really go above 99 here. But you can if you uh, if you learn a little bit of scripting. You can kind of modify uh, the maximum level that way. So this is the description of the character. Um, what's here will di be displayed in the stats. He is a wanderer. So if uh, if you go to the status screen from the main from the menu of the game, this will this will uh, display. Here's his graphic, which you can choose from a bunch of different pre-made graphics if you wanted to. I'm gonna give him this graphic. He looks like a wanderer. And here's the face set. Uh, the RPG Maker does have a face set for each character. Uh, let me just look at his face. Okay, he's a blue-haired... Right here. Here we go. Now, here's the weapons where you can change all of his equipment. Bandana. I'm just going to kind of go with the defaults. And the features over here. The same thing with the skills. Um, debuff rate changes... If you, Okay, if you really want to learn more about these... I recommend just hovering over it with a mouse, and it'll kind of tell you exactly what it does. So, uh, aside from the skills, or aside from the classes, you can also apply special stats to a, a single character, even if he's the same class, using the features over here. You can also, like, give him special equipment that other monks can't equip, such as a sword. So, if I give him that, now he can equip swords, as you can see. So, that's pretty cool. The note can be used if you're making a game with more than one person, like with you and somebody else. Uh, you can read each other's notes. But uh, the note is also good for scripting, because sometimes cer certain scripts will take uh, usage of the notes. Alright, so that's it for this episode. That's how you create a character. If you want to add him to the party, you simply go over here. I'm going to delete Eric. Go over here, and you double-click, or you can right-click, whatever you want to do, on the top thing. Click Edit, or you can press Enter. And we're going to add Alex. Click OK, click OK, and there's Alex. Now he's, in, now he's our main party start. So that's it for this episode. I thank you guys so very much for watching, and let me know in the comments what you guys think, and I'll see you guys later.